We are in a season where God is forcing us to learn how to use resources again and to learn how to be creative again. And the earth is bringing for its harvest. Now, what I want to end with <clears throat> is loosing this anointing from this place. Thanks, Chad, for helping me. To war again. Some of you have been worn out. Some of you have not had the prophetic wind you need. God brought us here and said, listen, I know this place. I know how it was used to start a nation and to win a war for our nation. And that's why I brought you and you're about to get that anointing. Jamie, y'all come back up with me. Let's all stand up. Tomorrow, we're going to restart the church up here tomorrow night. The Lord told me uh, tonight, he said, I want you to restart. And now it's making sense, the banner that he brought in here. The church from this region and decree that it will restart new and fresh. And so, the first thing we want to do to put on what we're about here is we've got to think differently. Put your hand right here because your heart needs to be touched. It needs to get joy again. If you don't, in Daniel Nambers' book, Joy in the War, if you don't get joy, you can't make it. They've lived through two wars in Israel. You can lose joy in the midst of the war we're in. Right here, you have to think differently. Now, not just think differently over the war. There's things in your heart that God wants to bring forth and delight you with. Some of you have such a burden for your territory. I know one of the cities that we're called to is Charleston. There's something that he puts in your heart that he puts in there so deep that if you'll let him draw it up you'll see the joy of it again you'll see what you haven't seen manifested God gave me a revelation of the bride through the 13 colonies Lord I say bring it forth now, Father, we thank you for what you're doing. You've brought us back here tonight to activate, activate triumph for the future. You, you said after we got here, Lord, you waved a banner over us. Just, just reach up at it. And you said this will be known as the meeting of beginnings... I, it, it had these words on it. The meeting of beginnings again. Now, Father, I loose this anointing over us. Something starting here, new and fresh. The war era we're in, you brought us back to the place where the first victory happened. Lord, I loose victory over us. Lose the next victory over us. Now, Father, we say strategies. Put things together in our brain that have gotten scattered and pull together the strategies for war. War for our families. War for our cities. War for the territories around us. And then right now, invite the angelic host into every one of these colonies to rest and order the steps of God's, God's kingdom leaders in those colonies. And the Lord said, I brought you here tonight to say I am not ready for you to converge on D.C. yet. 
but I will surround from the beginning and then you will converge. I will cause a convergence of my people to come on Washington, D.C. and to shout that the Spirit of God is going to turn upside down, upside down, upside down what has been tried to be set in an order that is not mine. I say, I will determine the move of that convergence and I will rally my people and you beginning tonight will hear that rally. Now, Father, we ask you right now for the next move of God. The Spirit, Holy Spirit, we say, come, come again to these colonies. Lord, they were established for religious freedom. So, Father, we say you brought us here to begin again religious freedom in this land. Father, we thank you for the faith of your people. Now, Father, I ask you right now, empower their faith. Blow on their faith. Let them move knowing that you have a plan and that you already know the next step and the next basket on their road. Let's worship. 